With JLIC, every day of Judaism is an adventure. With JLIC, the Torah I learn on campus is as exciting as my philosophy section. It used to be Ein Kemach, Ein Torah. Now, it's Ein JLIC, Ein Torah. Hi, I'm Victoria. I actually came from a fairly observant background, but I never understood what I was doing. Even if I covered my elbows or my knees, I didn't understand the meaning behind the law until I came to Princeton. Um, when I got here at my secular college, I actually learned a lot about what was behind the rules by learning with the JLI. It's been really helpful to constantly have a rabbi around to help us with all the issues that come up throughout our lives at Penn. I've made a lot of phone calls from the grocery store late Friday <laughs> afternoon just to make sure that what I was buying for meals was okay. Um, I've also benefited a tremendous amount personally and as a student leader on campus. We set up uh, an Israel advocacy, advocacy course that we had uh, for, for six weeks, um, which was very informative, very helpful, uh, brought in speakers, um, and it really helped me connect with, with Israel and with the conflict on campus. JLIC is really important to me because I'm out of town. A lot of the other students here are from Los Angeles and other areas. And people who live on campus, our life is really dependent on the campus life. With the couple living there, it's their community as well. So they create the community with us. And we feel like it's the community together. It's not just someone from the outside being like, oh, you know, we'll throw a program for you guys. It's us building a community with them together. And if I went to UCLA or another university that didn't have JLI, like, everything would have been completely different. I don't know if I would have stayed religious. I, I grew up in Portland, Maine. I didn't really know many Orthodox people. Um, and I was just curious, and I, I wanted to learn. Um, and then I, I learned a lot with uh, Rabbi Marwick, who was the JLIC educator here last year. Um, I, I actually, he encouraged me to learn in Israel um, over the summer. Um, and Reb, Rabbi McGenzie has, has really helped me um, continue my, my growth um, spiritually um, and in, in, terms of learning, uh, in terms of learning Torah. Moments ago, I just asked Rabbi Kaplowitz about the Hachshar on something, and I think it's very important for students who come from Orthodox or observant backgrounds to be able to have those resources for them when they go to a secular college. But bringing a rabbi and a family really takes it up to another level that you could not organically reach without a JLIC couple. Rabbi Greenberg is absolutely amazing at what he does. He's here, he helps us learn, he devotes all of his time, and on Shabbat, we go over to his house and Miriam cooks the best meals ever. I brought over a few friends, not even from, universe, from York, and they were obsessed with her cooking, and the kids are adorable, and everything is amazing, and it's not only with I guess like the more observant crowd, but also with people who just want to ask questions. Rabbi Greenberg's so down to earth and cool, and he makes the people who wouldn't naturally or willingly want to talk about religion, he makes them feel comfortable with him. And he's the best rabbi ever. My name's Ethan Sobel. I'm a junior at UMass. I'm the president of Koach, the conservative group here at uh, the UMass Hillel House. My favorite JLIC event is uh, getting together with all of the community at Hillel at the, um, the Own Eggs afterwards um, this year at the Eisens, last year at the Rudermans. Um, every, you know, every couple weeks we have them and it's a special event where you can go. You can gather not just with Orthodox students but with everybody because the JLIC I think is a very inclusive program. So I think Rabbi Sarna and Michelle have had the most impact on me by their accessibility. Anytime, anywhere. It sounds really cliche, but at all hours of the night, Michelle and Rabbi Sarna, I've been in their apartment until 2 o'clock in the morning sometimes discussing things that are not only relevant to me, but to the community as a whole. And I think that JLIC has given me the ability to have a safe zone here on campus of religious life and a supportive and passionate Orthodox community and also to go out and experience the rest of campus to partake in different programs and different opportunities but know that I have my community and I can always come back to it at the end of the day. Um, from the moment that I got to Penn I was embraced by the Orthodox community and specifically um, by the JLIC rabbis here on campus. They've 
for four years now have had a tremendous impact on my religious, personal, spiritual growth. One of the things that's most important about JLIC is that during most of the students who come to um, secular college and, do, and join the Orthodox community went to Israel for a year and had an experience of um, intensive Torah learning. And when they come to college and they're not going to IU, many of them still want um, the opportunity to have that learning. Um, without um, a program like JLIC, um, it's very hard to create that atmosphere. And then it's so nice that once a week, twice a week, you could come out, hear a good year about the Parsha, about Pesach, about, we just did about Pesach, about different things. Um, that it's very important that you have that structure built into the week. Otherwise, it's very hard to find time and to make time and to be motivated to do this on your own. So, it rocks. Woo! Um, my family at home doesn't keep Shabbos, and even though I do, and so it's really challenging. And over breaks, when um, everyone goes home and there really isn't any meals provided at Hillel or any Shabbos atmosphere, the Rothsteins are very, very welcoming, and they offer to take me in for the weekend and feed me and give me food and give me a great Shabbos environment and atmosphere and we learn together and we and we um, we feel really at home. There's so many different options of things to do with every sort of aspect of your time at Yale and I'm sure at any other college campus I could be at a concert or be at a show or listen to a speaker or a professor or go to a class or a social event what's forcing me or what's even making me want to learn Torah and I think that's mainly the job of the JLIC couple is to encourage Orthodox students on campus to really be Kovei Timo Torah, to make Torah as exciting as all the other options that are available to you as a student on a college campus. JLIC has been a huge part of, of my experience here. Um, I, I like to respond to the question, how has JLIC kept you from? And I think the question is misguided because if the sole goal was to keep kids from, then the program is, 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 is a smashing success, but that's not the goal. The goal is to let kids, to help students grow as Orthodox students on a secular campus, and in that regard, JL, JLIC has been wonderful.